Now this lantern is a special for skill builder from Made for Trade and quite honestly it must be among the biggest that they've ever made. It comes as a kit beautifully wrapped, even the components are all boxed up and it's ready to go with full instructions. And the beauty is that you don't need mastic in the roof structure itself. Once you put that bead of mastic around the bottom and bedded it on, that's the mastic gun over and done with, which means that if it rains, you can carry on working. And of course, it just makes the whole job a lot cleaner. Now there's absolutely no cutting to do. All the components are precision engineered to fit perfectly together, which makes it a complete joy to fit. And in my humble opinion, the Corniche is the go-to lantern for the installer. So what I'm using here is CT1, and the reason I'm using the polymer rather than the silicon is because if there's any damp, the polymer sticks better. The silicon won't stick if you've got a slightly damp surface. So this way around, it's not critical because it's got straight onto a wet surface. How far is from the edge are you? Uh, I'm pretty much level with the edge. Right, so am I, that's fine. Yeah, how are we doing that either side, Billy? You're gonna love these chamfered bolts. They're gonna go straight in. That's the kitty. That's it. That's it. Now the best thing to do when you're putting these little bolts into the rafters here and the hips is to just have a look up through the hole and check that it's aligned and then you're not trying to drive it in on the cross there because these could move slightly. That's got it. And if you see the way that that driving that bolt into that rafter end just pulled the whole frame straight. That's the reason you don't screw the frame down into the curb first. Get all your rafters, get all these spiders on, and then when it's all bolted up firm and solid, you can then screw it all the way round the side. And the holes are already here, so you'll know exactly how many screws you're gonna put in. And I would just say one more thing, by the way, while I'm here, is never, this is very similar to shower screens, never put a silicon seal along the outside here because if anything leaks down into this frame, if anything got inside there, it would drain out through here. And I did have an email from somebody recently who said there's water collecting inside my frame. He could see the droplets coming inside. And I had a look at it on the photographs he sent me and the reason was that he'd sealed up the outside. He thought he was doing a good job, a belt and braces job, and in actual fact he did harm. As I say, I see this time and time again with shower screens where people think they're doing a good job sealing up the inside and all they're doing is trapping the water in. So just a point to watch out for. So I'm not driving that fully in now because what I want to do is get the other end in and just make sure the whole thing's squared up on our opening because this opening is built absolutely spot on. Jimmy, look at that. That's it. Put that side down a bit. I've always been the side down, you know. Coolio. 
So that's it, that's the Cornish roof lantern fitted and if you didn't quite follow that, don't forget we've got another couple of videos on Skill Builder that you can look at so you can get the job from different angles if you like. And the only real difference between this one and the other ones is the size of it. And actually the only real difference that makes is when you come to put those pieces of glass in, it took three of us to hold that and move them around safely, don't rush that job get as many bodies as you need to do it. Totally enjoyable and it just goes to show you what good design does. It makes these an absolute dream to fit. Mm -hmm.